Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. I'm going to be taking a look at the person who ghosted you and how life has been for them since they left. Now, this is a general reading and please be advised this is not for the faint of heart or anyone who is easily triggered. Um, if you feel this is going to stress you out in any way or make you feel like you can't watch it that's okay please don't make yourself watch something that you feel uncomfortable about but this reading is created to give those of you who had someone leave and not give you answers as to why or just completely stop talking to you for whatever reason this is to give you insight clarity and possibly some closure here in this situation and so we're going to take a look like i said how life has been since they left for them, right? And see what's going on. And it is general, may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And please remember that time is fluid, so it's to be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your immediate future. And also I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. And these are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear and answers to questions you possibly have. So let's go ahead and jump in Scorpio. The person who ghosted Scorpio, show me how life has been for them since they left. How has life been for this person since they left and ghosted Scorpio? Karma, karma is what I see. Karma. Okay, so they're in and out of situations. They're going through endings and they are getting... Okay, so they have an ending that happened here with a death card, all right? And it looks like it's someone that gave them a taste of their own medicine. It happens to be from the karma of the situation of what they do to other people. So that tells me, Scorpio, you're not the first person they've done this to. Death card, Knight of Wands, Justice card. And then we also have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this person is going through, you know, this ending that happened and it happened so quick and it was like, whatever. And the justice card, I feel like for some, it's like legal matters that they're going through. They're all over. They can't commit because they're in legal bind or they're also um, just getting a taste of that karma of where they leave people without answers. It does come back, people. It really does. Um, that's why I always tell all my viewers and subscribers to please try and do the right thing as much as you can, even when you don't want to, just so that way you get the good karma back. You know, it's like, if you want things to be better, you got to do things a different way. And sometimes it's difficult to do that when we don't want to. It's like, we might want to tell someone off, but then we're like, I hope you have a really good day. <laughs> or, you know, my favorite is my, what my mom always says. She's like, just tell them she's so grounded. I'm telling you, that's that's earth signs for you. But she's so grounded. She always says, when someone wants to be ugly, you just tell them, I hope your day gets better. I'm like, yeah, right? So anyways, the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck, everything happened really fast for them. And so, oh yeah, we need to clarify, right? I'm like, well, that, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and clarify that death card and see what this is all about here. Mm hmm. All right. The death card is clarified by the high priestess. They were dealing with somebody. Things ended because somebody was highly intuitive um, that they recognized things were not going to last. And the queen of cups is at the bottom of the deck. I do also feel that if this person fell for somebody new and was falling head over heels and in love with that person, that that person left. It's the same kind of karmic situation where you might have gotten attached to them you started to fall in love with them or you loved them and they just left it's like they didn't say anything and that's tough uh, following their intuition led them to somebody um following their heart and their intuition led them to somebody who was inconsistent with them as well 
So, you know, it's only fun for a while until it all comes back around. So I'm like, yeah, no. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that Knight of Wands. They're not as uh, independent as they appeared to be. So they're very inconsistent because of the fact that that nine of pentacles and then the two of wands at the bottom of the deck right here, they don't know which direction to take because um, they are codependent in a sense. You know, they're their pentacles are not flourishing or there's a pause on it and they're having to make some tough decisions. Um, there's a lot that comes out here, not just the inconsistency or not just the karma from someone else, you know, being in and out of their life so quickly, but they leave a situation or that person leaves a situation. And I get that if the person they're dealing with that ended things with them, is coming back to them it's because they are not financially stable as well so they're like I just got to go back I'm just gonna go back to this person and it's it's very inconsistent it's that's like not growing and learning to change and do better and find a good balance this person is really whoever they're dealing with unless this is them um, I get both I feel like this person is codependent as well that they're you know Things are not really turning out as much as they had hoped as far as being super independent, um, being confident, having that like, wow, look at everything I've made for myself so far. Nope, there is definitely the decision and choices to be made. Also, I get that whoever they're dealing with has more than one choice. And so they kind of go back and forth between them and somebody else. Let's go ahead and clarify the justice card. Also, I'm going to say it like this. Scorpio, they knew you were falling in love with them and it freaked them out. And so they left. They're like, I can't provide you what you need or what I, you know, I'm just not that strong for it. Um, but like I said, karma comes back around. Mm -hmm. So the justice card is clarified by the Hierophant here. Mm -hmm. There is a spiritual teaching here. Um, it's going to show them that, wow, okay, the three of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So when it comes to legal matters, let's start there. So when it comes to legal matters and them going through something like that, they're having to talk to someone, they might be going to counseling um, for the, a situation in their life, whether it is for finances or, you know, just everything going on with them. I see that they are also trying to work things out with somebody here um, and make it work, but it's just so scattered and all over the place because whoever this is runs back and forth. Yeah, I'm going to do the right thing. Oh, today I didn't. Okay, tomorrow I will. Oh, today. That's exhausting for anyone, right? So, but I do see that there is a spiritual lesson that they are learning the truth of a situation that they should have recognized that you two worked better or that things could have worked better. But there was someone who's just as much of an inconsistent person as they are. I do get Scorpio that this person like stood you up on dates or made it like, oh, I forgot. They just didn't make things important. And it got on your nerves. Absolutely. And then whenever you started to develop real feelings for them, they fled because they were like, oh my gosh, that means that they're going to, you know, I'm never going to have the life that I want where I'm just single solo, can do my own thing. But then they end up with somebody else who is just like that. They're trying to hold on to this person and this person that they're with is inconsistent, forgets about things, runs from commitment, then comes back and is like all over the place. So let's go ahead and get some messages from this person. What are they holding back from telling Scorpio? What is this person holding back from telling Scorpio? Ooh, there is a lot that comes out here. Okay, first off, you know, I'm in a dark place in my life. Um, that is because of the things that are happening, the inconsistency, the fact that they weren't um, being 
consistent with others. They were running from things. It just showed a lack of commitment to stay and see how something would work out in a relationship. I get like they don't keep friends very long either or they're just very inconsistent with their friends. So there's no one else and that's what they're going to tell you. However, they are dealing with a situation. and Maybe there is no one else now because that ended, but that person goes back and forth and it makes it difficult. It's like they're getting exactly what they dished out to others. And I just wanted one thing from you. Wow. That's what I'm, you know, truthfully, they wanted one thing. And it does feel like they just wanted to have a good time. You know, it was an intimate situation, but beyond love where you started to fall for them, that's where they were like, cold feet, I'm out. So I tried to move on. So they still think about you. And they are not able to move on because they have not accepted this lesson that they are to learn about their own karma and how they do things with people, treat people, you know, because they're not looking at it like with this other person. They're not looking at the situation like, wow, this is what I get because I treated people like this or I did this to Scorpio. No, they're just thinking like, I'm low, I'm not feeling good, I'm in a dark place, it just doesn't feel good, there isn't anyone else, it's just me. Well, that's because things ended. Karma came around. And that they, you know, they just wanted one thing, oh, it's fine, you know, we didn't want, I only wanted one thing. I'm. They can't move on. It's like they just can't get over you. And look at this. I spy on you a lot. So through social media, maybe asking about you as well through um, friends. If y'all have like friend groups together or friends online together, they spy on you a lot. They try and find out information. Now they could also be getting that information through, you know, tarot readings, whether they do them themselves, whether they are getting a personal reading or you know, listening to a general reading. They are looking for answers. And so they spy in one way or another. And I do get that this person still has pictures of you in them or has pictures of you. And so if they can't spy on you, they look at those pictures and reminisce like that's their way to still hold on to the memory. But there's not the recognizing that what they did and how they did it and the fact that they didn't tell you why they were leaving and that they ghosted you, left you without answers, that's the part they're not getting to recognize at this point because their intuition is trying to tell them loudly like, hey, you know, you did this, so it came back. And they're like, no, 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 I'm not going to look at it that way. Um, but in that spiritual lesson, that is what they are to learn is that, you know, they had a pretty good relationship or could have with you and it just completely is gone now is how it feels. Cause I'm sorry. I just, I, to be honest, I don't really know many Scorpios that will go back to someone who left them without, you know, y'all are like, bye, there's the door. So, <laughs> um, if they don't give you answers, why are you going to take them back? I know. So anyways, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.